This is Matt from NoCodeTrainer.com. I hope you liked this video and you can take what you learned from it and incorporate it into your own bubble application. If you do, please make sure to click like and leave a comment in the comment section with how you'll use it inside of your application. If you'd like to be kept up to date with more tips and tricks you can use in your bubble app, please subscribe to our channel and be sure to check out NoCodeTrainer.com for more exclusive content. So in this video, we're gonna go over how it is you can create a click-to-call action. We can do this with either an HTML element or with a link element, so that when your user comes in and decides to click on to a phone number, the in their desktop will be prompted to open up a, a type of service that will allow them to make a call on my Apple computer that's gonna prompt me with FaceTime. And if they were on their actual phone, it would be prompting them to make a phone call as well. So let's take a look at how we get this set up inside of our bubble application. So here I am inside of the editor. I have on this page an HTML element. And in this HTML element, I have this code that I'm using to be able to, one, get the sort of functionality of making a phone call, which is very much specific to just down here. And then I have above that is the style section, which is gonna allow me to actually make it look the way that I would want it to look. We have a couple of different places here in terms of styling to keep track of. We have our font family and you can be able to change that font family to whatever font family you're using in your own application. You can change the font size. We have the text decoration set to none. What this is about is whether or not the text when uh, it is displayed is going to have an underline or maybe a strike through. Uh, so we're not gonna do anything, that's why we set it to none. And then here we have our color. You can change the color using actual you know, names of colors. You can also use hex codes if you like. So whichever way that you're utilizing colors in your app, most likely through hex codes, you'd be able to do that uh, directly into the color section by adding that hex code. Here you can see we have this uh, section that is referencing before. And what this content portion is, is that sort of icon that is representing the phone. And that is a, a way in which we can get an icon in there using what's called Unicode text. The margin right is just to give us a little bit of space bef between the phone icon and the actual uh, display that we're showing here, which is call me ASAP. Uh, then we have things like hover focusing on the color and then active again, focusing on the color. So hover is pretty self-explanatory when they hover over it. Active is when they're pressing it. So if you're used to bubble and we have, you know, when this is pressed or when this is hovered, uh, that's how we're getting those colors to change there. And so inside of our setup here, we've got our ahref and you can put your telephone number right into there. And then after that, you can give the display that you want to display. And you can set this up to be dynamic, right? Whenever you're working with HTML elements uh, or almost any element that has an area that you can place text, you can do dynamic. So uh, you can actually set this up as well to be utilizing a extension. So if you wanted to have an extension utilized, you can put a P in between the main portion of the phone number and the extension. And what this will do is it will add a slight pause about one second between when it dials the phone number and then when it actually would end up dialing that extension. You can also use country codes if you wanna be setting up your application to have users from various countries and therefore various country codes for their phone numbers. You can do that, you add a plus in front of the country code, and then after that, add the rest of the number. I, in terms of the way in which the number should be displayed in, in this area here, uh, after the tell, it, it doesn't make too much of a difference if you're using it with just the number or if you're doing it with a dash. So you can play around with it in your own application and see which way uh, works. And from my experience, they both should. But if one does not for you, then just try it with the other.
Another aspect of utilizing this click to call method is that sometimes you'll want to actually maybe run a workflow when the user clicks onto that uh, element to be able to make the phone call. Uh, perhaps maybe you're wanting to track how often people are clicking and calling. So for whatever reason that you might want to actually have a workflow get triggered, put your HTML element that is going to be housing your uh, code to be able to make this work, put it into a group. And then the group itself is what will actually be triggering your workflow. And so you can do things, like I said, with database to track how many times people are calling or maybe to uh, show them some kind of a message to indicate that you know you, the actual click has gone through. Uh, but they'll be prompted to make the call. So they'll more than likely already be aware that it's going through. Uh, it's just for a user experience on your application, you might want to navigate them away to some other area, whatever you might want to do. Now, using this click to call, we showed it here with the HTML element. We can also do it with a link element. And with the link element, it, it's pretty straightforward. You just end up using the link element and then putting the destination URL, but you have the tell uh, in front of the phone number there to be able to make that work. And in this situation, we have the icon being used uh, to actually represent our link element. Now, when you're looking here, uh, you can see that we have this sort of phone um, icon that's from our HTML. It's in the same element as the link. So just be aware that they don't really play nice together. You, you want to use one method or another. And if you're going to be putting more than one of these onto the page, I expect that you'll have to keep them with the same sort of formatting and styling that you'd be setting here. There's no way uh, that you can actually target you know, two different actual HTML elements to have different styling in them. So hopefully this helps you out with getting a click to call functionality inside of your own application. Thanks for watching the video. Hope that you found this helpful. If you'd like to be able to get editor access, please make sure that you check out the site, nocodetrainer.com. The link is in the description to the video where you'll be able to gain access into the editor and be able to check out how things were set up within the application itself.